Dave and Evelyn from the camera store and today we're giving you our first look of the Fujifilm X106. We thought it'd be a great opportunity to come down and check out the Chinook Blast, an event in downtown Calgary where they have all kinds of cool exhibits and all kinds of lighting displays. Yeah, now the only thing this event is missing is a Chinook <laughs> right now. It is bloody cold. And of course, if you don't know what a Chinook is, usually it is when the warm winds come over the mountains into the prairies and warm us up, giving us a reprieve from winter. But we don't have that right now. But what we do have that also came over the mountains <laughs> to us is the Fujifilm X106. Now the X100 series has been one of my favorite series from Fuji to start with. Classic looking camera, it's a fixed 23 millimeter lens, that's a 35 mil equivalent, my favorite focal length, but it's a great travel camera. It's a camera you just want to carry with you everywhere. Yeah, now about four years ago, the X100V came out and made some really awesome refinements. They made a new version of the lens and a lot of really great things. You can check out our old review here. But the other thing is that the X100V became super viral. TikTok is to thank for it, but people went crazy for it. In fact, we have like hundreds of people that are still waiting for that camera. They're not going to get that one, but what they can get is the newest version. So what has Fuji done to make an already fantastic camera even better? We're going to get into it now. Dave and I are now in front of another cool festival exhibit. It's called the Exposure Fence People in Place. And this is another thing that's happening in Calgary right now. So many things in the <laughs> coldest month of the year. Exposure is a fantastic photography festival. And that's what is so good about this camera. It is great for sort of walking around and exploring the world in a 35 millimeter format. Yeah, there's something about this camera that I really enjoy the experience. Not only is it just this nice compact camera that you can literally fit in a pocket, but you can pull it out, explore the world. We like the form factor of this camera too. I mean, it is gorgeous. We talked about that before in our X100V review, but I mean, I love the dials on this camera. It's such a fun tool. I mean, the tactile feel of a Fujifilm X-Series camera is always fantastic. And this one's no exception. We really liked in the X100V that they had these wonderful retro inspired dials you have the one where you can adjust your shutter speed and you can also pull it up and adjust your ISO. It just gives you kind of that nostalgic vintage feel and just makes photography a fun experience. Now, something I really like about this Fujifilm X106 is the fact that it has the same lens that was found in the X100V. So it's a great 35 millimeter equivalent lens. It's 23 millimeter on a crop sensor. F2 with two ED elements giving us very sharp images, really pleasing look. Yeah, nice edge to edge sharpness in the corners. And we also like that this lens has a nice tactile control. We have the aperture ring on the lens here and one thing you got to know though is that it is the one weak exploit with the weather sealing of this camera so just like the predecessor you can buy a little UV filter and that's going to help seal it. Well, as much as I like the lens on this camera, it's very sharp and it's my favorite focal length, we really need to match it up with a fantastic sensor. Yeah, we have a 40 megapixel sensor on this camera, same one that's in the X-H2 as well as X-T5. This is a great sensor, we've tested it before, you know, it's great and it's awesome that they've paired it now with six stops of in-body image stabilization. Now this is very impressive because it just makes the camera that much more flexible when I can drag the shutter a lot more than I used to. Yeah, we have the extra bit of resolution, give you more cropping power, and you know, this camera overall is just a really nice tool. It's very capable for both photo and video. We're gonna talk video a little bit later on. They do have an articulating screen on the back and they, it's so it's seam selfie. it's so seamlessly implemented. You don't even know it's there. You forget it's there sometimes. When you pop it out, it's great to be able to do low angle shots or high angle shots that can make this work. And the one thing very unique about this camera is the fact we have a hybrid viewfinder. So we can flick back and forth between an optical viewfinder or a digital viewfinder or have a digital inlay to sort of see what our exposure is. Yeah, again, this just adds to the experience of physical using the camera but there's also the benefit of having film simulations so this is one thing that a lot of people love about Fujifilm cameras we have more film simulations than we've had in the past and this is great the other thing that's really nice that you might not know is you can edit the photos in the camera you can also tone your monotone to your liking so there's a lot of customizability so not only can you use the film simulations but you can also create your own unique looks the X100 series hasn't always been known for being the best video tools. The X100V did change that a little bit. They added some more compelling video features, but this takes it up another notch. Of course, now we have six stops of in-body image stabilization. We are able to plug a microphone in. Through a 2.5 mil jack. And we're able to plug in headphones, yeah, monitors. With a USB-C adapter. It's true, a few adapters, you know. <laughs> it's still, I'd still say this is still primarily a photo camera, but you can make some nice looking You videos. certainly can. I mean, you do have 4K in 
160. You also have 6K and 30P, but you also have 42210 bit, which is very compelling if you're looking for the higher quality video. Yeah, and if you're someone that's traveling, you're on the road, you're doing content creation, you can make some beautiful looking videos. You can take advantage of those matching film simulations mm. for your photos and your videos, do some cool like cap cut stuff. It's gonna look really good. Very cool. Plus it's also a plug and play webcam. So it's something, yes. another tool to use if you're out vlogging on the road. Yeah, I like when they make things kind of hybrid. They're not necessarily limiting your functionality, but again, this camera is just such a great photo tool with some excellent video features. All right, I can barely contain my excitement for this camera still. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> I bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to I say don't know. that? You know what? I'm very excited about this camera too. I think that it is great that Fujifilm has come up with something. Hopefully they're going to have a lot of production of it because there's a lot of exciting features here. I mean, we saw with the X105, the V, it is an incredibly popular camera and it took off like wildfire. So hopefully they can deliver because this is a, by far and away the best version of the X100 series. Yes, this X106 I think is going to turn a lot of heads because of all the refinements, we have that high resolution sensor, it still makes a great travel camera, the tactile controls, and the more advanced video features. Yeah, we also have the image stabilization and overall just one of the best looking cameras on the market. Yeah, and it's still nice and compact, you know, like if you're wearing a nice winter coat like we are, you can fit it in your pocket. We loved the improved autofocus performance. We liked the additional film simulations and just all the little refinements that Fujifilm has done, I think make this a very compelling photography and video tool. But of course, we wanna know, what are your thoughts on the X106? Does it check all your boxes? Are you happy with all the updates? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you like and subscribe. This has been Dave and Evelyn from The Camera Store and we'll catch you again very soon. Hey, thanks for sticking around and watching our first look on the very exciting X106 from Fujifilm. If you want to check out more of our recent content, click up here. And if you are Canadian and you want to support local, check out thecamerastore.com down here.